Hey you guys, welcome back to Southern Latitudes. I'm Robin and I look like a sweaty mess already so I apologize up front for that. I've already put in about a good hour out here in the yard. So I, uh, I mowed yesterday or the day before? I've lost track. What day am I on? <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, anyhow, uh, and then today I've, I've mowed before and today I have edged just making sure I take things in small bites to make sure the arm is not swelling and inflaming and agitating, <coughs> pardon me, that torn muscle. So, uh, so far no pain or anything, but um, the weed, weed eater is heavy. So I, uh, I only did like this part and then edged around the garden over there. So, with that being said, I've returned to small jobs. I did a lot of pruning. I got a lot of weeding, so I have Spanish needle or Biden's Alba, it's known by that, all over me. It's like the little seeds are everywhere. Ugh. And they're itchy. They're itching. So, um, let's see, what else? So, uh, yeah, I pulled weeds and stuff. I had, a, let me take you real quickly, over here to expand the the chicken run. And it was going great. I mean, they escaped a couple times yesterday. Not a big deal. And then so I did a little, you know, weird reinforcement. Nothing's permanent. It's all just supposed to be super temporary. I was just hoping to give them some entertainment. Uh, maybe they could mow down stuff. They've eaten a bunch of the rotten eggplants, um, you know, and just whatever. But I've got a couple smart ones that keep escaping, and it's upsetting Buddy. And Buddy um, wants to herd everybody back in, and he's leaping the, leaping the fence, and because um, he's just that athletic and smart. Or yesterday he was going under the fence, but then couldn't get out of the fence. Uh, so they're just up at the moment. But um, when they're when I'm out here. Oh, buddy's in the house. I guess I could let them back out again. But that's kind of what I was doing um, yesterday and today. I've been editing videos trying to catch up as well. Uh, I had a Virginia creeper in here and along the fence line um, that I noticed when I was weed eating. And uh, there was a couple other spots where the Virginia creeper poked back up with all, after all that rain uh, in the food force. And I am highly allergic to it. I know there's only a few percentage of people that are aller allergic to it, and I happen to be one of them. Um, something about fair-skinned people. So if you're fair-skinned and around Virginia Creeper, maybe this is not the plant for you. I know people like actually, you know, in other parts of the country purposely go out and buy it and plant it, but in Florida it's pretty much native now and slightly invasive, or maybe fully invasive. <laughs> So, uh, anyhow, so what I wanted, I didn't want to bring you along for the boring parts, but I did want to bring you along for this little transplant. So, um, I should have done this forever and a day ago. So, these are uh, white African foxglove and pink African foxglove. And I actually, sorry, we've got a lot of pine needles here. Uh, oh, and there's a couple Mexican hat uh, plants, uh, little plants that I need to up pot before they go in the ground. So anyhow, what I was going to say was that um, the, this little white one's already bloomed on me. <laughs> it's trying to survive, and, and I'm way out of season. I should have done this so long ago. I'm so embarrassed about it. But, you know, no time like the present, especially when it's screaming, you know, Hey, I'm blooming. Get me out of here. And I really wanted to put it along the fence and stuff. <clears throat> and that may still happen, but I think um, it probably just needs a little bit more time and growth on it. So, look at this. I just trimmed these up a little bit. These are last year's cranberry hibiscus. Aren't they adorable? So I have this um, soil. It's so, sometimes I keep soil that was unused and sometimes I, uh, when things up pot, they lose soil or half the soil stays in the cup and I just add it back in here. Sometimes I amend it, sometimes I don't. I'm not gonna particularly amend any of this at the moment, but um, I've, I've already pre-wet it back down. Oh, it looks like it needs a little bit more. I've wet it twice. Look, it's still kind of dry in some spots. 
But um, And I got my cups ready right here, but I have more on standby. And so we're gonna fill cups and then we're going to go ahead and um, get the foxglove transplant, or uh, potted, I guess. Wow, this is really, really dry dirt. It needed the soaking. It's it's sitting and stopping wet, you know, like water, but not really absorbing it. Or it will eventually, but you know, it's just gonna take some time. Some moving it. Ugh. Still dry in the center. Sometimes I pre-moisten, sometimes I don't, but this is a case where it really benefits you to pre-moisten your soil. All right, that's good. That'll help, I guess, mitigate a transplant shock the best, you know, possibly. <clears throat> so it's not, you know, like where you're watering your baby plant and your poor dirt is just trying to do its best to absorb anything and it never really goes to the plant. Okay, let's go faster. that I have is filled I can always find more in the shed but um, let's start with the white I th think there's two rows of each yeah that's what it looks like to me <clears throat> okay so let's say all of these kind of I don't know oh egg shape cups are gonna be my white African fox love so let's go ahead and put holes first I'm just gonna grab the biggest ones at the moment uh, and get them directly into the cups. And then after that, I'll work on the little ones later. I might just like community pot those. So let's see. Some of them have two and I'm probably not gonna break them apart. If you can see that. I, I could, oh, I could. Let's try one. Yeah. You do lose, I'm going to end up losing all these roots down here and there. Let's see. Make a big hole. Ugh. There we go. Oh, they'll love that better. Way better. <laughs> okay. Let's get this big old one. This is my one that was trying to bloom on me feels so good to get my fingers back in the dirt you know when we kind of get to this time of year we're not sowing and and uh, planting transplanting up potting any of that all too much anymore so it's kind of you know I miss it did I say that <clears throat> what I don't miss though is the humidity the humidity is really high today because we're expected storms and, you know, by evening we should have lightning. Oh my. There's like four of them in here. <clears throat> There's four of them in here. Okay. I found more of these horseshoe cups. That's what I'm calling them. Wait, 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 wait. There. No, that's a horseshoe also. 
There we go. Okay. Let's get this little guy in before he dies. So cute. Okay, so these are the white African fox gloves. I've got a lot more I need to do. Okay. I've been out of the game. I feel disorganized. Okay, now we're going to move the white ones into these um, horse. I'm calling a horseshoe, horseshoe because they have a round on one side and flat on the other. I do actually have a like a, a container that holds all these. Buddy was out here with me all morning. He was just all worked up hot. I told him you go stay inside for a little bit. It's just too much for him being a black dog. And he's so hyper energetic. He can really do some damage to himself if he's if he gets overheated. see how many we got here we got there's multiples because I bet I don't remember because it's been a while now since I seeded these but I'm guessing the seeds are small and I couldn't get one one in at a time once these get a little higher then they're gonna go out in the yard these should get just because I'm just gonna go back through some of the stats while I'm working here. They get five to six feet tall. Now that's probably full sun. So I'm not sure that they'll do that where I'm gonna put them in the shade, but I'm just gonna put them as a backdrop against the fence. Just so like as people walk out here, of course now we have a red coop, but you know, it used to be just very, very green or very fence looking. And um, I'm trying to create, you know, layers and textures and colors out here. Even though, you know, I know it's just food forests and just vegetable gardens, but I like a little aesthetic appeal to my yard. And um, people are always coming here to either trade plants, pick up plants, um, you know, company. Uh, we do have a lot of company. And so, you know, I just want it to look aesthetic too. P aesthetically pleasing. These poor guys really wanted to go down. I'm so sorry. There's a massive clump, almost like a corn. Looks like, I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna leave it. I don't think they propagate with corms, but it's just kind of where, or how the roots grew. One more, one more big one. Let's get you. These are supposed to, I believe, supposed to be perennial and uh, they love heat. We can't grow traditional foxglove in Florida. So these are an excellent substitute for um, growing in, you know, these tropical, subtropical zones. Y'all, I apologize if I, I just played in the mud. I really feel dirty. I'm sorry if I have any on me. I d definitely feel dirty. Um, so over here's the white uh, African foxglove and uh, 
this tray to here is the pink African foxglove. And up front are the Mexican hat. And here is Campari tomatoes, I think. So I had a bunch of seeds in a cup and then they molded over. And then I just, I don't know, somehow they got out here because I thought I was gonna put them in the dirt and then they didn't. It's been like two months they've been sitting in that cup, completely dehydrated. So when I peeled up the mold thing, all the seeds were on the bottom. So I'm just, I put them in here just to see if they do anything. It's really totally out of season. So I'm not recommending anybody plant a tomato in the first week of June. So anyhow, um, I enjoyed clearing off my table, uh, but I'm happy to get it busy again and get these things up and growing hopefully we don't have our hurricane in the next you know 30 days just give these things enough chance to grow 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 i know i got dirt on me and uh anyhow if a hurricane comes they'll just go low go in the boat barn something so they don't like drown with too much water um and we'll just we'll just see how it goes it is hurricane season, so just as a friendly reminder, start looking every week at things you can either um, trim, prune, put up. You know, if you got loose things, start putting those up, finding homes for them. Also, if you're in Florida, know that you're under a fertilizer ban at this point uh, for, I think, almost every county in Florida. And so that means no synthetic fertilizers, but things like fish emulsion, um, those are all okay. Natural things, compost is okay. Just nothing that's synthetic. So anyhow, um, with that being said, and my PSA announcement is out there, so I think I'm gonna go in and clean up and, um, and go do dishes. <laughs> honest truth. <laughs> okay, take care. God bless. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!